beat our header like it owes us money. Welcome back to the garage. So, goal today is to take the new headers and weld these V-band flanges uh, to the ends. And then we are go I'm going to bolt them up to the engine, you know, kind of like a, just for seeing if these need to be reshaped, massaged a bit, um, just like the last ones. So that's pretty much the task today. Make the V-band welds and then toss them on the car. We're not going to use a gasket. We just need kind of, uh, I guess you could say, just, just for placement purposes. You know, we just need them kind of there so that we can uh, see if there needs to be modifications. So let's, uh, let's, let's get started on it. Let's go ahead and get one of these guys, which I think I'm going to put the, I guess you call that the male end right here. So probably going to need a hammer to kind of tap that in a place and it should go right on. Um, the desired flange. Yeah, it's a pretty square cut. So, boom, got that in place. Oh, take that over to the welding table. Since we, since we did so well. Oh. Since that, that that did so well, let's get the other guy. So we got the, like I said, we got the male side so so that we can uh, yay to the welding station so crank that guy on a hundred amps um that's probably good enough for what we're doing we're on DC so I think all my settings are good. We're going to break this bad guy on. And so usually I'm gonna hit the foot pedal down here. Usually this is good for about like 20, 25. Yeah. So alright. Go ahead and get welding.
These guys are still hot and toasty, but I'll show you guys my welds. You know, might have gotten a little hotter than I needed, but I sure did glue glue some metal together. So that's the passenger side. This is the this is the driver's side. So I am not a welder fabricator by you know I guess you could, they call it by trade. But for the most part, yeah. I was able to melt some metal together and get it to stick. So far, unmodified passenger side header needs the uh, motor mounts loosened. So let's go ahead and do that and pick up the pick the pick the engine up give us a little more clearance to kind of uh, snake it in there so i got i lifted up the motor in order to install the passenger side header it's in as you can see is we're gonna have to pull out the hammer and i'm gonna have to some mash in that small section so i'm gonna go get a sharpie so that i can clearly distinct what needs to be kind of massaged in and reshaped so that we're not touching the frame rail because it's it's touching the frame rail for sure i picked up my old exhaust of course my old exhaust is a little too long so we're gonna have to chop it um in order for it to fit so um but this doesn't really have to change i just have to change the flange in for the v-band that is all so i'm 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 fairly pleased with you know the little work i have to do so yeah just need to chop this guy off so that i weld the new flange so it all buckles together is hunky dory now oh, let's sneak underneath here um so we have so 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 this bolt is always a fuck it's always a pain pain in the butt to get this guy done and it's still gonna be a pain in the butt i even didn't even finish it i just found another bolt hole to you know bolt up so good looking set of headers i will say so now we need to go get the steering shaft and we need to basically put the steering shaft in its place right here to go down to that guy and if it needs to be clearanced we I think it's gonna be clearanced right here if anything so. <laughs> here's mr. sharpie mr. sharpie's gonna tell us where we need to beat our header like it owes us money so for the steering shaft it looks like we just need to do a little clearancing right here. And I'll get the top part too. That's gonna look terrible. Oh yeah, I love the smell of Sharpie in the morning. Okay, so, yes, I know, it's probably pretty dark. Now, this one's interesting. It's, oh, it's pretty tight. That could be partially weight of the engine <laughs> uh, being pressed out, but um, we don't need to press any of the other tubes forward. We just need this one guy right here. So we got contact right where the Sharpie is. Yeah. All right. So
There it is. All right, time to uh, pull these headers off and find my prettiest of hammers to... Uh... <laughs> All right, so looking at the driver's side header, it doesn't take much to get it in, which is pretty good, but as you can see, you... Ding, ding, ding. All right, so I got the other side off. And you know what that means. Ding, 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 ding. So it's kind of late today. I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits because I got a few things I need to take care of so that I can start my work week tomorrow because this uh, is far from paying the bills. It's uh, actually taking, taking money away from, anyways. Um, but I wanna recap it, what was accomplished today because it was a little bit choppy perhaps toward the end. Um, because we kind of had Easter and company over and all that jazz. But anyways, let me let's let's kind of cover what had to happen because obviously these don't look like new headers anymore. <laughs> so um I was able to weld on the the flanges on the end. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But then I put the headers back onto the car and for these passenger side headers, I actually found a new way I don't need to lift the motor to get them in. So that's no longer kind of a thing anymore. So no longer doing sketchy motor lifts, unbolting the motor mounts to, to slide the, the bad boy in. Um, but you can see right here, this is right next to where the frame rail is on the passenger side. So it's probably like a quarter inch clearance now so you a finger might not fit it would be tight if you did fit but that's that's how close this is because i didn't want to damage i don't want to dent damage i don't want to dent this too far down you know and and uh also there's no no other spots on the header that needed to be all banged up now the driver's side a little different story this guy this guy needed a good one this guy needed a good kiss um <laughs> so uh yeah so so i got it and this guy has plenty of clearance now for the steering shaft that comes like like so um yep and then no other areas it comes close to here but it, it actually you know, has similar clearance here as it does now with this kind of massaged. So, <clears throat> so now headers fit, basically. Um, I'll bolt them up later. Like I said, I kind of need to start cleaning up, packing up, getting ready for the, the next work week. And I'm going to just kind of give you this recap. So over here on the bench, um, got the new gaskets ready to go. These are the other side of the V-band flange. This actually will go on the exhaust. I have to chop the exhaust down because the exhaust is actually too long. So I need to shorten it. And I also need to remove the existing V-band flange and weld these guys on. So I will have to take the exhaust off the car bring over to the weld station to weld up um, to put these guys on so that you know these all bolt up now 
I am going to take those headers and bolt them up to the car for realsies whenever I do go to fit these guys because I'll probably stovepipe that thing on there. So basically I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have the headers bolted up. I'll figure out what size I need to cut that, uh, the, the exhaust to, and then I'll slide these guys on the end of the pipe, bolt it all up, put some nice beefy tacks on both sides, remove, weld, and that, that'll be all she wrote as far as how, how I plan to accomplish that. So don't worry. I know I'm not leaving you hanging. I'm leaving myself hanging, you know, if anything, because I'm not finishing it. But hey, like I said, um, you know, when it's time to be an adult, it's going to, you know, time to be an adult. Uh, so basically, I'm going to just tidy up myself, my, my workspace real quick, pick up the wrenches, put the worst boat to be, uh, organize all the hardware that I've taken off the car, and uh, stay tuned for the next update, which is going to be... Like I said, install headers, weld new flanges on, get this thing back together. And uh, also hopefully tomorrow uh, I'll, I'll have an update for the drive shaft from the drive shaft shop. And we'll figure out w what kind of corrective action needs to happen. Ultimately, I think the drive shaft has to shorten at least half an inch, if not a little more. So... Appreciate you watching. Hit the like button. Leave a comment below if you see anything that I might need to keep an eye out on. Or uh, maybe maybe if I did something wrong. Maybe I held the hammer wrong. I don't know. Um, but if it's your first time here, why don't you think about subscribing. And I will see you guys on the next one.